Welcome to the Get Sound in English. Welcome again to this 30 day challenge. I hope you guys are having fun and we're working on the Ge sound. It's another Vedar constant, which means it's very similar in position as the K sound. So we're going to put our, the back of the tongue again, touching the soft palate and working in this position of preventing the airflow right up at the top into what was known as the vellum. This is a voiced plosive sound, so you are going to turn on your buzzing bees. Your vocal cords should be vibrating in this sound. So we're going to build up the pressure, the tongue position up and back, and then we're going to release quickly, the exact same as the ke sound. Ge, 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 ge. Again, releasing that nice and fast and snappy. The ge sound is not an aspirated sound, so you're not going to feel that explosion of air coming out your mouth when you put your hand to it. Common mistakes is that it could be sounding like a ke if you're not turning on the voiced sound, so make sure that your sounds are not being mixed up because the positioning is the same and the action, the manner of how we made that sound is very much the same. So let's make sure we're separating the ke and the ge sound and making them nice and clean and clear. It might be that you've turned on the voice, but maybe not enough to be getting that same sound as myself. So make sure that you're able to work on relaxing and allowing the vocal cords to vibrate, okay? So don't be too stressed or too tense. You want to just be aware of your body. You don't want to be stressed and anxious about what you're producing, okay? So remember, take a deep breath. You're learning a lot of interesting and difficult and information so remember to stay relaxed stay playful stay fun stay with me in this enjoying challenge of improving your english within these 30 days let's go to the guest sounds at the beginning of the word go get game gum got let's go to them in the middle of the word tiger wagon trigger sugar agree let's go to them at the back of the word bag dog hug log big flag practice sentences go get the gum from the game the tiger chased the weapon he gave the dog a big hug awesome that is all of the plosive sounds covered and mastered i hope by the end of this challenge so remember if any of these sounds have been problematic for you these are all plosive sounds and you need to be practicing whichever ones you find the most difficult. Remember I said it's on a scale of 1 to 10. Maybe you already know these sounds, but maybe you don't know how to make them perfect every time. So you need to work from going from 7 or 8 to a 9 or 10. Some of you might be completely new for you and you're struggling with English pronunciation and this P sound maybe isn't in your native language. So don't feel anxious about seeing other people in the group posting and doing it easily because other people maybe have been learning many more years of English than you or their native language already has this sound and so it's not a problem for you. I know that Arabic speakers find the P sound, for example, very difficult and a lot of other learners don't. But they will all have sounds that they'll find difficult and you won't, so relax. We're not competing against each other, we're working together to improve our pronunciation. So when everyone's posting, don't feel anxious and nervous about that. Just post your videos, your practices of the plosive sounds at the beginning of this challenge, and you are maybe going to be able to win three months free classes or one month access to free classes, depending on if you manage to complete the challenge and you're sharing and encouraging and building up people in the community, then you're gonna be able to maybe win the prize of the 30-day challenge, which is free access to small group classes with me.